Very good, my friends. In today's video, we are going to review and assemble this bench pillar drill. I have bought in leader for 100 euros. It's 500 watts of power, and we will put it on test. It can run from 600 to 2600 RPM per minute, and also can allow us to do drills at 0 degrees and 45 degrees. The first thing I'm going to do is to use these very big screws to attach the base to the table. So let's do the holes. Holes are ready, we can put it in position. Okay, this will not move. Now we place the pillar and we are going to insert three screws here. And three. Now we are going to slice the drilling table onto the pillar and we will use this to put it in a fixed position. Let's place the machine head onto the pillar. And we are going to use the Allen key that came in the kit to fix it to the pillar. There are two Allen screws on the head of the machine to the pillar. These two there that we need to tie. This one and this one also. Fit the chuck guard on the speed and tube and tighten the filled screw. Unfold the chuck guard. Remove this nut from here. Okay, now we are going to insert the deep guide here and we put again the nut under. We remove the indicator and now we can place the depth, depth indicator back in position. We may want to lose this a little bit. Screw the feet handles tightly into the threaded holes in the hub. There are three of them. Now we are going to install the chuck. Okay, we are going to place the chuck here and we are going to press as much as we can. And now we are going to turn the slave clockwise. Now we are going to place a piece of wood here. And now we are going to lower the spindle onto the piece of wood press firmly to ensure that the foot sits exactly.
Now we are going to install the laser module. First we are going to put the batteries, the batteries came included in the pack. Batteries like this, it's properly installed and let's test the laser. We are going to use this screw inserted through here and And now we are going to see how to use it. The first thing we are going to do is to pivot the table, to bring the table to the inclinated position, release the table looking and adjust the desired angle. And we are going to put this like this, we are going to set it to zero degrees. Now we need to Choose the speed and the tensioning of the bell to the material we are going to work with. First thing we are going to work with is boot. So we need to change the speed to do that. We are going to unscrew here. We have the different speeds for the materials in the instructions. The thing depending on the drill diameter we have the different speeds for the different materials. In this case, we are going to use wood. In the box, we have instructions to set it to a different speed. In this case, we want to set it to maximum speed, so I'm going to, to move it. To remove the belt tension, we are going to use this screw here, okay? It's not here, so we release the, the belt tension, okay? We move this nut here and now we push we push the motor to here to loose the bell. Now we can move the maybe a little bit more. Now we can remove the belt, press it in the desired position. Okay, and now we have to tighten it. Bell should deflect approximately 13 mm or half of an inch. There is a sensor here. Now we are going to mount the machine vise. We will use this combination here. First one here, then we are going to insert and the nut under there. Now we are going to place the other one in here. The assembly of the pillar screwdriver is completed. I'm going to do some enhancements to the screwdriver. I already requested some parts on AliExpress, but I will let this for another video. I'm going to test in this video uh, the screwdriver with boot, but I will update you some months later when I tested completely the screwdriver with other materials. Make sure you are subscribed and click the bell so you will be notified when I release the new video. Okay, we are going to place a drill. We turn on the laser and we are going to make sure that the laser point is pointing the tip of the drill. I'm going to do a small mark in this lock. And I'm going to put the lines of the drills by using the screws here right in the middle of the hole that I, the small hole I make.
Okay, first time test. It make holes. It works. Be careful, it may be hot. I've been using the drill for a month. I did several jobs, mainly with wood, but I also made drills on steel strips. I think for a house this is okay. But, as I said, I will make a more detailed review and also including the enhancements in the next video. Quality of some components are quite low, like the measurement or the laser, but okay, I don't care too much. I want to do drills with an accuracy that is okay. And for that, for 100 euros, I'm happy. Here I'm preparing this shelf for invisible brackets. To clean the drill, I'm going to use the air compressor. It's super simple, in less than 30 seconds, everything is clean! I hope this video has been useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see videos about more tools. You will have find a card here. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video. Thank you for watching and see you next video.